Cindy? Cindy? Can you please get my toothbrush from the bathroom? Okay, coming! Sweetie, do you really have to leave? I just heard on the news that the weather might not be suitable for going outside. It is snowing heavily out there. Come on, Auntie. You know how important this opportunity is for me. I have to go there no matter what. Why are you so worried anyway? <sighs> I've been taking care of you since your mother passed away. And your dad left you and you were the only one I had while my husband divorced me as well. <sighs> I still remember to this day when I was pregnant with Cindy and I used to take care of myself and you. And now you're leaving me behind. No, Auntie. It's nothing like that. I would never leave you if my university was not in a different state. I know the environment is going to be very tough for me to fit in, but trust me, I'll do my best to get good grades and make you feel proud of me. Just pray for me. Of course, my child. My prayers are always with you. Oh yeah, and by the way, I talked to Mr. Anderson and he said his son will be there to guide you around the university. Auntie, you really didn't have to inform him. <sighs> I know how much your boss has already done for us. He gave me an admission to this expensive university. He's taking care of all my expenses as well. It means a lot. That's right. We can never be grateful enough to this man. But thanks for everything, Auntie. Or should I say, Mama? <laughs> Mama sounds better. Hey, what about me, Mom? I'm your real daughter, not her. <laughs> Don't say it like that. She's like your sister. <laughs> Let her be, auntie. I'm not going to stay here anyway. And when she'll miss me, then... <laughs> I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to miss you, silly. I wish I could come with you. Uh-huh. Well, you can. Focus on your studies, get good grades, and then join me. Anyway, hand me my toothbrush. I gotta hurry. Here. Thanks. Now, give me a hug, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to miss you guys so much. Oh, we're going to miss you too. Bye! Bye. I'm gonna miss you so much, Amisha. M.G. Girl, look! That is Tommy with his private limo! <gasps> ah! <sighs> Just look how rich he is! I wish my father was as rich as his dad. And I wish Tommy was as my boyfriend. <laughs> <gasps> O.M.G. How can we forget? It's his birthday today, and we didn't even wish him a happy birthday! Greetings. Happy birthday, sir. Your father has sent you a gift and a cake, and also this check. Hmm. <laughs> Did he not come himself? Um, he was actually busy with the delegation. <laughs> As always, just leave this check to me. Take the cake and distribute it among the students and give this gift to a needy person. As you wish, sir. A businessman is always a busy man. Tommy! Happy birthday! Huh? Ah, oh, great. Not this again. Happy birthday! We got you a gift! It's not as expensive, but I hope you'll like it. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry the signals are weak. I'll rejoin the call. And he left. <sighs> Seems like our dream to have Tommy as our boyfriend will last forever as a dream. Ah, <sighs> I agree. Thank you for your service. Here's the pay. Oh, whoa. 
The school is... beautiful. I just hope I'm not late. Now, where is this guy? Ugh, great. I don't even know his name. How can I even forget to ask Auntie about that? Oh, great. Just great. Who would have thought that the first day in this university will start off with trouble? Uh, Misha. <gasps> How did you know my name? Let me guess. My dad didn't tell you my name. I'm Marquise. Mr. Anderson's one and only son. Oh my god, it's you! Thank god I found you here. Wait, how did you recognize me? Let's just say I have a great sense of humor. You know what? Let me make things clear here, okay? I'm not interested in cheap girls like you. So please don't expect sympathy from me. I don't get why my dad is being so nice to you and your family. But I hate cheap people like you. Okay? Well, that was kind of rude. Also, since you're with my dad's money, I get to decide what you should be doing. Do you get my point? This piece of... No, wait. Amisha, you can't react like that. He's the son of the one paying for your education. I think it's better to just stay quiet. <clears throat> I... got it. Come on. Let me show you to your dorm room. I mean, our dorm room. Wait, are we going to share a dorm room together? I mean, can't I share my room with another female instead? Sure. Only if anyone actually wanted to have you in their dorm room. Everyone hates cheap people here anyway. You know what? Let's grab a cup of coffee first. We still have an hour to explore around. Um, can we just go to the dorm instead? Why? You don't have any money on you? No, it's not like that, but... You're already neglecting me. I don't like to hear no as an answer. Now come on, I'll pay for it. Ah, uh, great. Happy birthday! I'm surprised. You remember my birthday? How can I forget this day, son? Yeah, right. That's why every year, you only come on this day. Still, you don't come to see me. You always ignore my texts. But thankfully, you showed up today. I'm so happy. I just came to see what changed in you. A mother never changes, Tom. You're absolutely right. You have not changed at all. You're still the same. Guess what? My mother left me a very long time ago. I still remember to this day. I was holding on to you, trying to stop you. Do you remember what you said while pushing me? Don't come after me. I never came after that. Then why do you always show up like this? It's because I could not live without you, Tom. You're my only son and my only hope. Well, that hope is gone. It's too late now. Please don't say this, Tom. I still care a lot about you. You're the only person I think about all the time. I really love you, son. You know what? I hate two things in my life. My father's wealth and my mother's love. Please don't text me anymore. at hmm. I'm just observing you you know you're not so bad looking um thanks what, what the, the heck? heck am I literally, literally blushing, blushing right now no way, way. Don't, don't be so, so dumb, dumb Amy uh, he's only he's supposed to be my roommate, roommate and nothing else you talk quite little don't you um yeah actually I want you to talk more with me from now on I don't care about your reasons uh, he's literally getting on my nerves now. Oh, thanks. I'm really sorry for 
being a little late. But here are your lattes. I hope you both enjoy it. What the heck? What is he doing on my seat? Excuse me? Oh, good afternoon, sir. We're so happy to have you here again. Would you like to have a private seat? What are they doing on my seat? Didn't you tell them that it was mine? Um, I'm really sorry about that, sir. You see... Just forget it. Let me talk to them. Hey, you. Both of you. Leave my seat. <gasps> oh, my God. Girl, look over there. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Are they going to fight? That's exactly what happens whenever they're together. Oh, uh, I, uh, I'm really sorry. We didn't know. Don't be sorry, Ami. It doesn't matter if this is his seat or not. At least there isn't his name written on it. Stay seated. Huh? But... You really like to mess with me, don't you? And what are you gonna do about it, huh? <sighs> You'll see. <laughs> I usually don't share anything that belongs to me with anyone, but I'll leave it for you. Would you like to order anything? Oh, left. Hey, you! Who are you? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, I'm Amisha, a normal human being like everyone else. Why do you ask? We meant, how are you related to Tommy? Uh, Tommy who? Oh, stop pretending so naive now! That guy who owned that seat at the restaurant! How are you related to him? I'm not related to him in any way whatsoever. Oh yeah? Then why did he share his seat with you? We've known him for two years, and he never shares his seat with anyone. What? He didn't get the seat from his home, nor does he own it. Oh, well he does! What's so special about you anyway? I see nothing in you. <sighs> exactly something which you both don't have. And that is nice manners. Have a good day. Uh, how dare she! Whatever. <sighs> Where the heck is this dude? Do I literally have to wait for him in this cold? I'm here. Let's go. <laughs> Seriously? No apologies. Uh, he's not even a gentleman. His name is Tommy. But why was he staring at me like that? Oh, I love this song! Do you like this song too? Yep, I used to listen to this song when I was... I was... Just a kid. This song has been very close to my heart since I was a kid. I see. His sad look is definitely saying more than his words. <sighs> well, as they are, every villain has their own backstory. We're here. Follow me. Wow. This dorm room is way bigger than my house in the city of Brookhaven. Are you sure it's only going to be the two of us living in this dorm room? <laughs> of course. I guess this is new for you. Everyone else in the school considers it to be one of the smallest places they've ever been in. Oh. And it's not like your family can afford such a place. Anyways, let me show you to your room. Follow me. I swear to God, if he's going to be rude one more time, I will... Ugh, whatever. <laughs> you! 
Who? What are you doing here inside her room? Oh, is this her room? Huh, <laughs> pretty nice choice. Are you literally trying to follow us? What do you even want from me? Hmm, <laughs> how could you forget so easily? Didn't I tell you that you'll see what I'll come up with? So? <laughs> and you think this will work against me? Yep, that's what you get for messing with me, tough boy. Now I'm gonna stick with you guys 24-7. How's that sound? Miss Amisha Smith. Huh? What? How does he know my name? You know what, Tom? You're not gonna stay here for more than 10 minutes. Because I'm going to inform the principal about you. And you know my dad, right? Aww. Uh -huh. You're trying to scare me with your daddy? Little daddy's puppy? Is that what you do every time? Brag about your dad's riches while you are close to being disowned by your own family? <gasps> you piece of- Stop! Both of you, stop it right now! What are you guys doing? Just stop this fight! <sighs> Can't we just stay here peacefully? With no drama whatsoever? <sighs> Whatever. You can sleep in my room, Mommy. Wait. She's supposed to sleep in her room. Which means she's going to sleep in this room. That's my final decision. Come on, Ami. Let's go. <laughs> but... Oh, so tell me more about them. Are they hot? Are they attractive like those BTS boys? <sighs> Stop fangirling over them, Cindy. Just focus on your studies more. And don't speak so loud. He's sleeping right now. Quiet! You'll wake him up! Wait, are you really sharing your dorm room with a guy? But that's prohibited, you know? <sighs> it's a long story, Cindy. Plus, he's Mr. Anderson's child, so... Ooh, then you should totally date him! <laughs> Cindy, I have more important things to do with my time. I want to complete my studies and get a decent job, so I can help you and Auntie financially. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Miss Busy. <laughs> You'll never change. Anyways, where's Auntie Sarah? Wait, I'll call her. Mom! Mom! Amisha's on the phone! Really? Oh my god, sweetie? Hi! How are you? How's the weather there? Did you eat? Oh, wait, it must be very late there, right? Why aren't you sleeping? Mom, you're probably going to get her all confused with those questions. <laughs> Everything's fine over here, Mama. I've arrived pretty safely. Marcus guided me around the university and basically the whole town. But <sighs> I'm missing you guys so much. Oh, we miss you so much already, honey. Please try to call me every day. <sighs> I will try my best. Hi. Uh, I... I'll call you guys later. Bye! Okay, bye, sweetie. Eat and sleep well. Bye! Bye! Ugh, he's so weird. <sighs> I should probably sleep as well. I have to wake up early tomorrow morning. Huh? What's the sound? Is someone... singing? Wow, he has such an amazing voice, but why is he singing such a depressive song? And is that his personal diary? Hmm, I wonder what his secret is. We'll continue this tomorrow, my love. Good night. Oh shoot, did he see me? I'm so dead! Huh? Was there someone outside? Hmm. Who could be up at this hour? I must be hearing things. It's pretty late anyway. Good night to me. Oh my gosh! Am I safe? Yes! Ah, thank goodness. Hmm. I should try sneaking inside his room and get his diary. I want to find out his truth so badly. <sighs> Dear Diary, 
I'm Tom Lizard, or you can call me Tommy. You might wonder why I'm such a tough kid, and so mean to others. Well, you see... Ever since I was a kid, I never got any attention from either my dad or from my mom. All they ever cared about was their money and their wealth, so much that they never thought about spending some time with me. Although they bought me these awesome toys and amazing toy cars to cheer me up on my birthdays, but they never gave me what I truly wanted. I always wished that only for once, just for once, my parents could hug me and say, We're so sorry, son. We never gave you enough time as you deserved. We promise that we'll care about you from now. These words I always wanted to hear as a kid. But now, things have changed. I hate them so much that I don't even want to see them anymore. I hate it when my dad sends me a huge amount of checks on my every birthday and my mom just comes to give me a huge bouquet of flowers. Why do they care about me now when they have ruined everything in the past? Can they ever bring back those memories I lost as a child? I guess not. Wow, I'm surprised that there aren't any jokes inside his diary. Instead, there are some very heartwarming and sweet poems. How sweet. And his backstory is really making me cry. How can someone treat their own child like that? <sighs> huh? Oh, he wrote even further. After that... I never felt interested or attracted towards anyone, even though I've dated many girls. Honestly, all they ever cared about was my wealth, or my looks. They didn't care about the love I had for them, but this morning, I met someone very special. She seemed angelic. It felt like love at the first sight. But isn't that fictional? You could say she reminded me of someone I used to dream about all the time. Is she... the one? Aw, so he likes someone. <laughs> Well, I hope he finds that girl, and is able to confess his feelings to her. He truly deserves to be loved. <sighs> but I didn't know that that girl was actually none other than Amisha Smith, a.k.a. me. Ah! Stop it, man! Where is the homework? Today was supposed to be the last day for submission! You said you'd complete it by yesterday! I did, but but I don't want to hear your excuses. Either you do the homework this instance, or give me your homework. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop it! You're going to kill him. Stop bullying people like that. You're hurting their feelings. You're right. What the heck? He didn't let his anger out on her? What is going on? Hmm, there's something really fishy. We have to find out what's the truth behind all this sweet gesture. <laughs> Thank you so much, miss. It's okay. No one has the right to treat anyone like this. Are you okay? Do you want me to take you to the nurse? No, I'll be alright. Thanks for the help, though. Hmm. <sighs> huh? What's this? Bouquet of flowers? Who left it here? And what is this note? I'm really sorry. What the? <laughs> Who left it here? Wow, this person also knows my favorite kind of flowers. And just like that, I receive new things every day from someone strange. But I love the note so much that I fell in love with this person. I wanted to meet him so badly and find out who he is. But he never showed up. I guess his notes were everything to me. Dang, I'm so late today. I didn't even notice the time I spent studying in the library. Huh? Shh! It's me, Marquis. Just keep it quiet. Don't worry, just follow me. What the heck? 
You scared the frick out of me! What are you doing here at this hour? And why did you bring me here? Ah, uh, stop asking so many questions. <sighs> Do you see that girl over there? Huh? Where? Oh, I see her now. What about her? That's my girlfriend, Camila. Or should I say, my soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. I want to break up with her. Wait, what? But why? She looks nice to me, though. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm so tired of her anyway. I only dated her because she's the class nerd. But now, man, it's getting so boring for me. And because of that, I want you to help me with it. What? You have to be kidding me. No, I... Shh! Stop making noise. Just follow me. What? Hey, no! Wake up! Hey, how are you doing? Oh, hey, babe. You're finally here. I was waiting for you for almost an hour, but... Uh, uh, who's this girl with you? Oh, this? She's my girlfriend. <laughs> what? Your girlfriend? What do you mean? I'm your girlfriend, not her. Uh-huh, yeah, right. You're my ex-girlfriend now because uh, I'm breaking up with you. No, you can't do this to me. Please tell me if this is a joke. Do I look like someone who'd make jokes out of that? Everyone was so right about you! You're such an evil, pathetic man! You just use girls like a piece of paper! I hate you so much! And you, girl, I'll take my revenge on you for stealing my man! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Are you happy now? Huh? What is your problem? Why do you guys treat everyone so badly? Just because we're not spoiled brats like you? I think you should behave a little. And why should I? You think just because your dad is rich, you can treat anyone however you want? You broke that poor girl's heart. And you involved me into all of this. I will never forgive you if she did anything which compromises my studies and my dreams. I'm not here for all of this. You know what? She was so right about you. You are an evil, pathetic, and filthy person. I'm out of here. <laughs> I miss you so much, Auntie and Cindy. I wish I could just come back to you guys. I don't want to stay here anymore. Everyone is just so terrible and mean here. I can't believe I helped that jerk do something horrible like that. <laughs> huh? Where is my diary? I think I'm ready to meet you. Meet me at the park at around 7 p.m. What's this? Watch out!